all you can eat crab legs that actually taste good. In this video, I'm gonna take you with us as we go on Star of Honolulu's dinner cruise and test out their casual dinner menu. Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Aloha, I'm Miriam and this is Yes to Hawaii. We make Hawaii videos take the guesswork out of planning your trip. As always, I'll leave timestamps in the description box below so feel free to skip around the video for the parts that you came here for. In this video, I'll go over how to get to and from the harbor, the menu, entertainment and the show, exploring the boat, and the review. First off, as for getting there, the harbor is about four miles or about six and a half kilometers from Waikiki. The easiest way to get there and the one that I would recommend is to take the Star of Honolulu's shuttle bus. It's $15 per person round trip and they pick up at select Waikiki hotels. It makes it super easy, worry-free, and if you have a couple cocktails on the boat, you don't have to think twice about it. If you prefer to go in a smaller group, you can also take a taxi or a rideshare app such as Uber or Lyft. I checked the pricing for Uber or Lyft and it ranged from between $15 to $25 one way from Waikiki to the harbor, depending on when you called it. If you opt to drive, they do have parking. The closest parking is going to be by Pier 5 and Pier 6. Keep in mind, Star of Honolulu does not validate for parking. While I took the shuttle bus so I could show you guys what it looks like, my friend who was coming from work met me at the harbor and she drove. Parking was $3 for every half hour. For the cruise, you'll need to have parking from about 4.45 in the afternoon until about 7.45. That's three hours. At $3 per half hour, that's $18 for parking. There's also moped and bicycle parking at no charge. And lastly, while you could take the city bus, which is about $5.50 for a day pass, for this specific activity, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. The direct buses that will take you closest to the harbor are still about a 10 to 15 minute walk away. If you do decide to do this route, make sure to give yourselves ample time, at least an hour, just in case you hit any hiccup. If you miss the boat, you have literally missed the boat. Now, as for the menu. This menu is a three course meal. We got a salad, steak, all you can eat crab legs, and a dessert. Plus, we got a Mai Tai. When we got to the table, we had bread with butter and a salad waiting for us. Shortly after, we got steak and our first order of crab legs. They were paired with butter and some delicious mashed potatoes. Now, as a reminder, the crab legs on this dinner menu are all you can eat. So after you finish your first portion, there's a server walking around the dining area with a basket of crab legs. My friend and I, we demolished probably about three plates worth. I love seafood and so does she. But keep in mind, if you don't like steak or crab, you can do a menu substitution for chicken, fish, or a vegan option. If you need to do a menu substitution, you must do so 24 hours prior to the dinner cruise. You won't be able to do it on the cruise itself or same day. If you watched our previous video where we checked out the deluxe menu for Star of Honolulu, which is their steak and lobster menu, you'll know that we were on a different area of the boat. The area that we dined at previously was completely open air. However, this time we were on the ground level and that was fully enclosed and air-conditioned. However, your menu doesn't necessarily designate what deck you're going to be on, unless, of course, you take the luxury option, which is the top deck of the boat, and that's where you'd have the fine dining menu. For this specific menu, it could be any of the decks except, of course, the top deck. You have four menu options. This menu, which is their casual menu, and that's the steak and all-you-can-eat crab leg. Or they have the deluxe menu, and that's gonna be the steak and lobster. And you also have a buffet option, and their fine dining option. As for entertainment and the show, the night that we went, it was a little bit rainy. So typically they'd have pier side hula waiting for you, greeting you as you go on the boat. However, because of the rain, they moved the hula dancers inside of the boat. So you still were greeted with hula as you boarded the boat. It was just on the vessel itself as opposed to pier side. Now, as for exploring the boat, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of footage of the dinner cruise when we did it previously on a sunnier day. On the night that we went for this specific dinner cruise, However, it was very, very rainy, a little bit windy, and I didn't feel comfortable taking the camera gear out, changing lenses with rain blowing a little bit sideways onto the boat. However, if you do this dinner cruise on another day, don't forget that they do have an observation deck which is on the very top deck of the boat. Normally you'd have 360 views and it's perfect for catching sunset. Overall, I really like this menu. I personally really like seafood, so this menu specifically appealed to me. And my friend that I took with me, she absolutely loves crab legs, so we demolished the crab legs. We each probably ate about two to three plates worth. If you're looking for a nice night out on the water with a good meal this menu might be perfect for you guys and this boat is also one of the actually this boat is the only ada compliant dinner cruise 
on Oahu. So if you have anybody with mobility issues, if somebody has a wheelchair, anything like that, you can still do this dinner cruise because they do have an elevator within the boat that will take you up to the observation deck. Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. They have activities like this one for Oahu and the neighbor islands. If you're interested in this activity or other Oahu activities, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below.